This does not glow in the dark. I've tried. How's it going, Blazers? David with Blade Banter here, working to bring you specifications you can relate to so you can have educated decision on your purchases. This is going to be a knife from Asher Knives. So this is what it's going to look like in your pocket if you decide to pick it up. Uh, this one is the Spiro. Uh, so thank you, Justin, for sending this to the Passion Group. Uh, but that's going to be what it looks like there. And this is going to be what the knife looks like here. So that's what it is uh, for this one. Uh, it's going to be a G10 handle scale uh, for it. Uh, so one thing about Asher Knives, uh, so that's going to be the box here, uh, AsherKnives.com. Uh, so that is actually named after his son. So I have a little bit of experience with that and as far as Orion Knives is uh, kind of off of my kids and uh, one of their favorite constellations. So Asher Knives, I joked with them as far as uh, since he has a brand for his son that any other kids that he has, he's going to have to create another brand. And he said there's probably going to be only one kid, so uh, only one brand to actually create for that. Uh, so Asher Knives, there's a Spiro, uh, going to be this one here. And as I saw in the initial part, that does not go in the dark. Um, I, I tried. I just I had to see if it actually did. It does not go in the dark. Uh, for that one, uh, you can dye it, so that's one thing that's nice about it. So if you do want to have a blue backspacer, a yellow backspacer, uh, whatever color you want to use, that would probably dye pretty well. Uh, so it does actually have the covers for the other side, so right now it's in a right-hand carry. You can switch it around to left-hand carry, uh, move that plate over, and that's going to be how that works for you. Uh, this is going to be uh, 3.2 ounces uh, for the knife. Uh, so as far as uh, the weight for that, that's going to be 16 quarters. So that's going to be basically right there. 16 quarters will be uh, what this is. iPhone uh, 12 is about 5.73 ounces. So uh, really uh, anything less than that should be more than acceptable. Uh, when you're comparing side to side, that's where you go can kind of feel uh, ounces and little parts there. But when you're really carrying it um, on a regular basis, you probably won't notice that. Uh, current pricing on this one is going to be $75, uh, which is a fairly good price, and we'll go into that as far as why that is as now we go on, uh, because the, some of the materials that he's offering is a pretty good price point. Uh, so for this one also, for the Lyman pull gauge, uh, this is going to be a thumb stud knife. Uh, so basically I put a little bit of uh, dental floss around it, and actually to pull this open, uh, this takes about one pound, 5.1 ounces. So still really good. Most times thumb studs uh, might be about two uh, pounds or less. Uh, that's going to be a pretty good uh, point where it's going to be a good amount of pressure. So you can actually do uh, different deployment methods for it. Uh, cutting edge on this one is going to be about 3.2 uh, inches. Uh, so that's going to be from uh, this point here um, all the way out to the tip. Uh, so that's going to be just a tad less than the actual uh, blade length that goes from basically this for this point on the handle all the way out, out to the tip. Uh, that one's going to be uh, for uh, 3. Point, well, 3.09. So actually, no, 3.09. So cutting um, is actually longer than 3.2. So that's actually taking out a piece of paper, rolling it onto it, and actually see what that blade length is. Uh, this one actually is, um, it does have a little bit of a convex edge on one other side, so it's about a 16 and 17 degree um, for that secondary bevel, which is actually the sharpened edge. Uh, so you can kind of see when I did it under the laser uh, for the uh, laser edge reader, uh, one side was pretty much spot on for 16, and the other one was kind of really obtuse uh, at about a 17 degree. So you would probably want to just put a new edge on it, uh, and then you'll be good on it. It does cut, uh, but it's just something that if you want it spot on on both sides, uh, use one of the fixture systems or sharpen it uh, when you pick it up uh, for this knife. This is going to be a flat grind um, for here, so uh, going to be all the way up to this section. So you do have a pretty good amount of steel um, all the way up to the tip because this is a flat. So if you do have a clamp system, that would work out pretty well uh, for this setup as well. Uh, this is going to be S35VN uh, for the blade steel, which is a very good steel. And that's the kind of thing about for 75 bucks for S35VN, uh, that is a good value. Uh, so you might find some other ones out there. Uh, the one from LA Police Gear, which we've done multiple times, found that is not S35 on many occasions, or if it's S35, it's really a low HRC where it's not really can, can perform very, very well. This one, um, at least on the uh, website, uh, is about 59 uh, HRC. So that's gonna be you know, right in the range for this steel type. Uh, so that's gonna be a good thing for that. So you can put a little bit of confidence on it. LTK did a video as well as far as doing the test on the steel, test on the HRC. Uh, so that's something that if that is a concern for you for 75 bucks for S35VN, then you can be a little bit at ease with that.
uh, 4.25 for the actual um, handle length. So that's going to be from here to here. Uh, that's going to be the full length on that, uh, which is a decent one as well. Uh, behind there's thickness, uh, which is a concern for some folks, uh, but that's going to be about uh, five sheets of paper um, behind the edge, which is about 20 thousandths degree, degree of ramp, uh, which is basically from when you um, disengage to when that a detent ball is actually onto the blade blade itself is about 22 degrees 20 degrees is really good 30 degrees is okay 40 degrees is a little excessive uh, so it's right uh, in that sweet spot really and then one thing that's actually here stand out is the actual blade stock thickness this is going to be a three uh, 2.2 millimeters and yes i bounce back and forth between millimeters and inches some things make more sense to me and then you can convert it if it works out better for you the other ways Deployment methods for this one, you're going to have thumb uh, deployment for it. Uh, you can also have middle finger deployment. Uh, tension roll, uh, you can do sometimes um, if you're bringing it to drive for it, uh, but it works on both hands, so you can actually do the deployment. I'm a right-handed person, able to do it on uh, both hands. Uh, inertia flip is also available for it, uh, so that's a positive or a negative for folks, but you can get it out there if you try hard enough. And again, it is something that you're gonna try to do. It doesn't drop shut or drop open. And so that's why I don't call this a gravity knife. Some people call that gravity deployment. And that's why I call it inertia because you're really having to basically kick it open and actually stop, which is basically overcoming the detent for it, if that makes sense. And if it doesn't, um, leave it down in the description. I'll go through it or even make a video about it specifically. A right hand tip up, as I was saying. So that's gonna be right hand or left hand, right hand now. Left hand would be the switch over to the other side for it. And then out of the pocket, this is about one pound, uh, 10 ounces. So actually pull it out of the pocket. Uh, that's the weight for that. About two pounds uh, is good. Now three pounds is kind of the limit of it. Anything more than that, you're gonna really notice it when you're pulling out of your pocket, where it's gonna be lifting your pants uh, when you're pulling it out, uh, which isn't great uh, for that type of thing. Uh, but we'll see kind of the different cut thing. I just have a little bit of a receipt paper here to see how this one is doing. This is also a Pasha knife, uh, so uh, this isn't going to be the best edge, but it does cut pretty well uh, for this one here. And then with that uh, stock thickness, you're going to actually be able to float through uh, some of the cardboard even better. Uh, so some of the downsides to this one, uh, and there is a different thumb stud uh, So um, on the newer ones. Uh, this is, I guess, the small thumb stud. Uh, there actually is a larger one uh, that is on the newer knife. So when you order it, uh, you're going to get a larger thumb stud. Uh, this is where um, I found it a little bit more uncomfortable for this one here in doing the meat of my finger. Uh, that's why when I do the thumb deployment, I'm actually hooking it with my fingernail and kicking it out that way. Uh, that's where um, I think the, the Rat 2 uh, thumb stud is going to be one of the more comfortable ones out there. It kind of has a more of a dome top uh, than what this one is going to be pretty much that straight edge. So that kind of digs in a little bit more. So that's kind of the downside for me on this knife. I haven't experienced the one with the larger thumb studs. Uh, so that one would be one to kind of see if it kind of improved that or not. If it's not a too big of an issue um, because the way that I'll deploy it is going to be kind of hooking my finger underneath. Same with the middle finger flick. It's going to be hooking it right underneath with that uh, fingernail. So that's kind of the downsides uh, for that one. Uh, handles pretty well. Goes in and out of the pocket pretty well. Uh, it's actually a pretty nice one. I kind of grew on it as far as my opinion uh, for this knife. Uh, but uh, this is going to be the comparison for some of the other ones out there. That's going to be the Asher Spiro. Uh, this is going to be the Rat number three. We have the Bug Out. I don't know, what did I say for that is? Para three. Rat two. And then you're going to have the Slurus, so I got some fingerprints on there. And we're kind of out of frame too, so we'll move that down a little bit. Uh, so that's going to be what they are here. Uh, but I found it pretty, a pretty good setup for this one. Uh, and he has quite a few other designs out there. So for being uh, somewhat of a new company, uh, he's actually been able to produce quite a few designs, offering premium materials for a decent price point uh, for it. Uh, so that's going to be something to look at as far as what you're looking for. But experience wise, I mean, it's good. Detent's good on it. Uh, so it's not anything that's going to be uh, too hard to do those, all those other deployment methods for the knife. I would say pick it up if you like it. Um, so it's a pretty good setup. Uh, slices really well again with that um, behind edge thickness as well as the stock thickness is a pretty good setup. So if you have any other questions, let me know. But that is about all I have to say about that one today.